Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Lynch from the Stellate Institute in Annapolis, Maryland. One of the questions we frequently get asked is, what specific symptoms of PTSD does stellate ganglion block help with? It's a great question because post-traumatic stress disorder, or what we frequently refer to as post-traumatic stress injury, is a very heterogeneous condition. Th this is one in using the diagnostic manual uh, DSM-5, there's 636,000 different combinations of symptoms that will get you to the diagnosis of PTSD. And that in and of itself is part of the problem. So what it, what it is, is this is a condition, as is something like generalized anxiety disorder, that has a lot of different symptoms that can manifest for people with these conditions. And many uh, trauma survivors will suffer from symptoms of hyperarousal, as well as avoidance and, and many other things. But what we found over the years is by assessing specific symptoms, both before the stellate ganglion block and afterwards, that we can answer this with a finer level of clarity than just saying things like stellate ganglion block helps PTSD, which is not a very sophisticated answer. So we use a tool called the PCL5 and a tool called the GAD7, which are very simple self-reported questionnaires. We assess specific symptoms before and after the procedure. And with all of our procedures, with all of our patients, we request that one week and one month following the procedure to get self-reported questionnaires sent back to us. And over thousands of patients and over 10 years, we've amassed a lot of experience in this. So to answer the question, there's a, a, a broad answer, which is the cell ganglion block has a, a lot of individual variation in terms of what it helps for a lot of people. And that many of the symptoms that will be helped in one person may be helped uh, slightly different than others. But when we studied this and reported our findings in, a, uh, in an article that was published in the peer review literature back in 2016, what bubbled to the top were three real primary symptoms, which were irritability, particularly angry outbursts, and difficulties in sleep and difficulties in concentration. Um, these were by no means the only things that were helped. And in, in fact, um, we found that across the board, many of the symptoms on the PCL5 were helped significantly. So um, again, those, are, those three kind of turned out to be the most prominent, but, but by no means the only things that are helped. In fact, what many of our patients describe is an overall sensation afterwards of feeling more calm in their bodies and having less physiologic responsiveness or reactiveness to things that they couldn't previously control. So this is a hard thing to describe, but, but some people use terms like it has bought me a little extra headspace or a little extra leg room so that if something would normally set me off or irritate me or frighten me, it allows me a little bit of time to pause. It allows me to control my body and my responses a little bit better so that I don't go zero to 60 like I'm slamming on the brakes and my heart races and pounds and I get sweaty and my whole my muscles tense up. Um, that's a commonly reported thing and that's one that doesn't necessarily fall right into any of the descriptive symptoms on a, on a PCL5 or a GAD7. Regardless, um, I think that is the best way to answer the question. Um, I'm happy to answer any other questions during individual consultations, as is Dr. Mulvaney here at the Stellate Institute, but we think that is um, probably the best advice we can give to that answer in a general, uh, general format. So I hope that helps. Thank you very much.